boiling up the water for my coffee. Yep, only takes about two to three minutes. Turn this off. Window was cracked. I don't even know if you need it cracked with uh, butane. Two bags of books to take over to the library. Kind of is a little, feels really good, like a thank you gift for all the time that I've spent there. Huh, Pepto-Bismol in the corner. It's my go-to. <laughs> Funny though, I bought it the other day and haven't had to use it. Yay! I don't. I, I probably only take it <laughs> twice a year. Oh my gosh. Grew up with Pepto-Bismol. Okay, and then I got some blankets to fold. There's the coffee. And going to be doing the hardest part of my going through my storage today. Let me tell you about it. Hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. I literally just woke up, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes ago, said my prayers. Thank God for this beautiful day, for my home here clothing, food, my health, my friends, my children, my grandchildren, and for their well-being and for their health, and that God would keep them safe and out of harm's way, and that their needs would be met, and um, other parts of the prayer too, but that's part of the prayer that I say every single day. So, thank God for you, and I ask him to use me all for his glory. Well, I'm getting a jump start here today. It's just a little after seven, but huh, things in my storage that I, yet to have, that I have yet to go through have been stirring in my head for the last hour. And I need to get with the program here and get going. And I tackle the hardest things that I have to do in my day early. And so I've decided that I am going to tackle memorabilia today. Now, this is the fourth or fifth time probably to tackle memorabilia. You know, it all started back in Pennsylvania when I was moving to California. I probably didn't tackle too much memorabilia then. I was still in the thick of creative memories and saving every little last thing that my children ever gave me. Probably wasn't till years later that I, that was 2006, that I started really needing to go through it. But I don't know. The cute stuff from the kids from the time they were little and wrote, knew how to write, I love you. I probably have it. It is in one box now, and I called it, I labeled it my feel-good box. So this will be the hardest one, because I think that this is kind of like, oh, I'll keep it till I'm 80 and I, or 90 if I get there, you know, and then I can sit on my rocker and just have all these smiley moments. And I think, oh, my, my kids somehow on this on, on, unconscious level that I should keep these things um, because they mean so much to me. And throwing them away is like disregarding what they did. And I need to get over that <laughs> once and for all. I can't keep these cute things anymore. I can't even you know, it's just, it's too much. And I'm not valuing and giving it a place of honor by just having it in my storage. And I continue to tell myself that. If it's going into storage, just like I did a talk on minimalism that you may have already seen, you know, at the RTR and my mom's silverware, I carried it with me for years and it was always under the bed in my apartment, in my home never to be used. I wasn't going to use real silverware and polished silverware. It just wasn't going to happen. But under the bed is where I kept it. It's like there was made no sense, you know. 
So if I'm not gonna frame these beautiful pieces from my children from the time they were two years old <laughs> until grown, even the things that my daughter, the notes and things that she's written me, um, you know, I've kept those things. Um, they bring back smiles, they bring back joy, they bring back, um, hey, look how much she loves me, you know? It's like proof and I need to let go of those things because the proof's already there. I don't need these pieces of paper. <laughs> I'm getting teary thinking about it. And there was a time when I heard from my son far and few between. So if he wrote me a little note or sent me a card, you know, that was like extra valuable. I've even like torn off, you know, the envelope uh, that he addressed to me or what have you. I don't know. I, I, I used to do things like that. I don't think I do that anymore. <laughs> I've advanced. I've grown. Anyways, this is going to be tough. And the more thought I put into these things, the harder it'll be to let go of them. I'm thinking if I downsized maybe to just keeping 10 things or 20 things, I don't even know if that's possible. We'll see. Uh, I've asked God to help me with this one today. And I'll show you the box when I get over to storage. And let me see. And, and, and. One last thing. I've actually turned this into a series. You know, it's 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 got too long, so I did books yesterday. Uh, I was working on clothing, which I didn't think that needed to be into a, uh, I tried on a lot of things that don't fit me anymore. And I'm thinking, oh, if I lost 10 pounds, they'd fit me. But I'm not gonna hold on to things just to think that that's gonna happen right now. And so, my motivation is a tiny home. So everything I look at, I will think mm, it's going to go in storage or it's going to have a home out in the open in the tiny home, you know, and I'm looking at, we're talking like a, probably like an eight by 16 tiny home. We're not talking, we're not talking big. <laughs> um, Maybe like with a little loft for some storage, but I don't want to look up every day and see storage. That's crazy. And I will probably have a four by eight storage. Um, I don't know if this comes to happen. I don't know if this is going to happen or not. You know, it's just my thoughts. It's just my thoughts swirling around in my brain as I travel the country as a full-time nomad. So... I hope you've enjoyed what I've showed you so far. I know it's been kind of choppy, kind of messy, but um, just trying to show you how I'm going through things. And I found a list of how to um, let go of things that I had written years ago. So I think I'm going to share that list with you as well. It's a top 10 things. Maybe I'll share that in the next video. Today is just about uh, getting through memorabilia. All righty. I'll show you here in a bit. So here's how things were left last night. Oh my gosh, eight and a half hours in here. Doesn't look like I've done a thing yet, does it? Uh, I'm down to three containers of the clothing, but I've got this one to go through today. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, here's what I pulled out at the end of the day. I mean, my mom made these. <laughs> I'm downsizing to nothing here, you know? You know, if anything, I was thinking through the night, I may give uh, a few decorations to a senior center or something, um, you know, for the different holidays when it's that time, not just dump them on them. And then this cute egg down here, oh my gosh. I've had this for so, so long. My daughter made this, you know, back, I don't know if it was preschool, elementary, or if it was even past, past then, I don't remember. And I think she, and she painted this, I'm pretty sure. I'm saying pretty sure, because I don't know. Uh, but here is the box that I labeled Feel Good Container CDs and two VCRs. 
Okay, the VCRs I've not watched. I don't know, has it been 20 years maybe? Longer? I don't know. And, you know, here we are at the very top. A picture that my grandson drew for me. So meaningful. Here is Christmas cards from them. I think this was two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago. So they would have been, I don't know, four and two. You know, tough. Here's CDs. I'm probably gonna throw away. When Brooklyn was born, when God created mothers. Oh my gosh, look at this. Now this is really, this is really telling here. My daughter drew, drew a VCR and how to, <laughs> how to play it. And she wrote the instructions for me. I've kept this. It's a smiley moment. It meant so much to me that she did this. I didn't know how to use a VCR. Here is Christmas letters that I wrote every year. A warm hello to you. Merry Christmas. Here is Mother's Day 2009. Yeah, this will definitely still be a keeper. I'm going to put that because her and I love to go to the beach together and just lay out. That was one of our peaceful times together. So I'll put this over here for now. And if I'm counting, then we've got to do 20 things, right? A Christmas card from years gone by. May you experience beauty, love, excitement, silly times, serious moments, inspiration, new joy, God's best, and serenity. Spelling blessings. And what year was that? <clears throat> 2012. And some of the happenings in 2012. I think I'll keep that. Uh, my daughter getting married and a little thank you note. I think I'll keep that. I'm already up to three things and I've just gotten started. Happy Easter, happy Easter. Spring is a time for new beginnings. Here's to new, whatever great new things God has in store for us as we continue our California adventure. Happy Easter, I love you. 2009. Wow. See, I want to keep that. Oh my gosh, it's just, it, it just goes on and on, you know? Happy Mother's, happy uh, birthday, Mom, I love you. I mean, the things that she took the time to do. These are like pieces I want to frame, but I have no room to frame them. No walls. Hope your night went well, Mom. Uh, I feel better since I've gotten up, so you don't have to worry tonight. I hope you had a good walk. Do something fun. Hope your open house went well. Uh, here's where I'll be. Be home around 1230. Have a relaxing night. Call you when the kids are sleeping by 10. And she was babysitting. I mean, oh, this one, this one's huge. This is huge. Congratu congrats. And let's see, as we open it, 19 years of sobriety. I love you. September 20th, 2009. <sighs> she went to a uh, meeting with me and celebrated my 19 years. Uh, she gave me a gift card. One new summer outfit. The chocolate will have to do for now. Her birthday. Uh, this is when her and I moved our new address to California. Love you, Mom. Thank you. Sleep good. I mean, she was always so, 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 so thoughtful with her notes to me. 
Look, they just go on and on. Here's a thank you. Thanks for making my birthday special. I'm so glad we uh, got to meet for a delicious breakfast. And I love all my new clothes and my cricket. Love you, Caro. And here's notes, notes, more notes, more notes. You deserve a break. Enjoy. Love, Caro. Uh, hope you had a good night. I got up at 4.30 and uh, did the dishes. I'll, I'll get to the laundry tomorrow. Mm. Hi, Mom. I'm in the shower. <laughs> You know, just nice, thoughtful things. See you in the morning. Left me notes. Just precious. Merry Christmas, Mom. This is a postcard with Lucy on the outside. Okay. I, I'm in trouble here. I am in trouble as I look at all this. Uh, a beautiful note. I know that one's a keeper. I'm not sure how to go about this. Here's some more uh, cards from my kids, from my grandkids. We love you, Brooklyn and Levi. A keeper. Look at this. Help me out, guys. Do you have a box like this? And have you been able to detach and let go of it? Our special entree calls for a reduction sauce. And this is from a good girlfriend. Here's hoping uh, your life has reduced stress and more happiness. Happy birthday. Yeah. This was somebody I met at a craft show who became a really good friend. I really miss you. Have lunch with me. And she gave me, uh, I think she gave me $20. Oh, Kathy. Yep, and here is a, used to call my daughter Gertie. <laughs> I have no idea why. Yeah, ah, when she was little, when she's older, my Bible study group. Oh, wow. From your daughter. Yeah, the cards just kept coming for years and years. And um, I don't really get cards from her anymore, so these are even more meaningful. And there's uh, Brooklyn's handprint. Wow. Welcome, Grandma. A sign when I came to visit. All right, I think I better get busy. We'll be here for three hours showing you all this cool stuff. 2015, she did with uh, Levi's and Brooklyn's uh, hands and feet. So talented. Uh, happy Mother's Day. We went to China Garden, Chinese restaurant, and a little note. It's Valentine's Day. And this is so adorable. Okay, I'm in big trouble. I'm gonna get going, I'll let you know later what happens.